Frankie here. So how is this for a personal injury ad? It says butt hurt and it's on a park bench. So you got to actually sit on your butt to notice it. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you the three most common deadly critical mistakes that most attorney websites make. And this will probably surprise you because as I'm going to show you, at least 95% of uh, attorney websites are not only making one of these mistakes, they're making all three. And these are the kind of mistakes that cause, you know, otherwise good clients and it, uh, to kind of be pushed away and go towards, you know, competition, even if that competition is a lesser attorney, because a lot of times all they really have to decide is your website. So the, you know, by fixing these, you know, you'll be prevented from, you know, potentially looking like Lionel Hutz in the eyes of your clients and you won't have to do anything cheesy to, to fix them. They'll be really easy. So injured, don't pull my hair out. You won't have to do anything like that. Although I actually think this is pretty funny. Um, so to show you how this works, to show you these three mistakes, I wanted to show you real examples. So I searched for an attorney in Detroit, which is my local area. And, uh, I just want to quickly specify that I'm not affiliated with any of these websites in any way. Uh, I just wanted to show you how common these mistakes actually are. So the first thing is, let's start right there. If I'm a potential client and I just search for an attorney in Detroit, why did I do that? Well, the obvious answer is because I have a legal problem, right? Well, when you think about it, what do I really care about? Well, the answer is my myself and my own legal problem. I don't really care that much about an attorney. And most attorney websites, the first mistake they get wrong is really it's all about themselves. It's really like a sophisticated form of bragging. And I don't think really attorneys do this on purpose. A lot of times we almost just like subconsciously copy everyone else. You know what I mean? Everybody else does it and we, we figure it's what we're supposed to do. So it spends a whole lot of time. Usually what you'll find is the most common template. It says, welcome to our website. We specialize in blank, blank, and blank. We'll fight hard. We're experienced call us and so you see this on pretty much all the websites so you know just to actually show you here's an example uh, attorney name we specialize in blank blank and blank call us uh, welcome to our website we do blank blank and blank call us um, welcome to our website this is more specified to a bankruptcy area of practice but same kind of format uh, this one's just really ugly uh, this one um, you kind of see it in the attorney profile I specialize in blank blank and blank call me um, this one, we're trusted, we're experienced, we're great. It's, it's basically a whole lot of bragging is what I'm trying to show you. But if you think about it, how to fix that is really easy, is that a client really only cares about themselves and their legal problems. So without really getting into a client-attorney relationship, you can start telling them, you know, the first thing you need to know about this type of case is, or just like you would do in a consultation, right? If somebody would, uh, the first thing you would do is ask a question, where are you with blank? Then that's what you want to do on your website, right? Your website should mimic an actual real life conversation and not be doing something to kind of talk at somebody and brag because clients don't want to be bragged to. They just want to know that you can actually help them. So this leads us to our second major problem and we in the marketing world we nerds call this bridge too far and I purposely used a sketchy looking rope bridge because believe it or not this is what you actually look like to a potential client who's never heard of you before is and it's not necessarily because of anything you've done either it's just you represent the unknown either they've had bad experiences in the past or even when they thought something was going to work out they themselves made a mistake so they often don't even trust themselves to not make a mistake so what happens is, you know, when you when a, uh, somebody goes to hire an attorney, most of the attorney websites, what they don't realize is 95% of clients who visit your website are not ready to call today. They're not ready to ask a question and they ain't ever coming back. So that's that means 95% of the people who come to your website um, are kind of wasted. So the bridge too far action is really is you're asking them to come in and see you face to face and even though you haven't done anything, in their mind that represents a scary unknown. It could be sales pressure, you could um, harass them, you could tell them something you don't want to hear. So a much better way, I actually found one of these websites, I don't know if I showed you yet, is what we call in the marketing world is generating a lead. And the reason why you want to do this is really, really simple. You'll see this form. They're using a list serve. You can use a program like AWeber, Get Response, or Infusionsoft, which will run you anywhere from 20 to 200, depending on how uh, per month, depending on how sophisticated you want. The reason to do this is really simple. When I mentioned that 95% of people visit your website and will never come back, um, this person right here, if they get the person to download their free book, um, they actually have. Um, 
dozens of chances to reach out to this person. They can put them in an automated follow-up series. And so a lot of what you want to do is really when you see this kind of stuff like say workers' compensation and they have all these different pieces of content, is a client's not going to stay and read all 20 pages. But if you have the ability to follow up with them, you can simply send them educational stuff, completely automated stuff that would already be on your website anyway. And so this person actually has... 20, 30 chances to, to, to win that client relationship and the rest of them really only have one. So who do you think is going to get it? So obviously the, sec the second biggest mistake is really make it easier for the clients to just you know get some more free information on their terms. Generate a lead and then follow up with your leads. And then the third thing is um, what we marketing nerds call a call to action and I wanted to show you a really shameless version. This is Red Bull and their Facebook page and you'll notice it says like our page, hint, hint, hint. And I don't know if you can see that with the resolution but there's a whole bunch of arrows pointing to the like button, you know, uh, shamelessly telling you what to do next. And really, you'll notice a lot of these websites is when they end, it doesn't really tell a client what to do next. And unfortunately on the internet, it's really easy to click the back button or click the dreaded red X. I mean, if a client gets to here and they're not sure what they're supposed to do next, they go like that and they're gone forever. So this one kind of does end with a phone number. Um, this one does as well. That's definitely better. This one doesn't. You'll notice it really just has a whole bunch of stuff and it it doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do next, right? Neither does this one. It's just is you know what I would call the glorified business card website. And even though it looks professional, I'd be willing to bet money it's it's not converting well. Same thing with this one. Uh, it doesn't really tell you what to do next and it just kind of brags at you. Uh, this one's probably the worst of the bunch. So what you want to do really is, in un, in no uncertain terms, is is let the client know uh, what they should do next. So even if it's just so simple as you know, read more about us and having a button, um, you know, this is definitely one of the better websites. So. Um, if you switch those three things really quickly, what you'll find is that even though they're really easy to to, uh, to fix, you'll find that sometimes your response will anywhere from double to ten times uh, without paying a single dollar extra. So you just want to have your website mimic a conversation. You want to uh, have a system to follow up so it's not a bridge too far and you want to tell people what to do next. So uh, illustrating the, the call to action, if you'd like to learn more of how to do this, I've got a free one-page assessment. and It'll show you really in empirical data where all the holes in your marketing system are so you can you know start uh, really quickly and easily fixing them with some of our kind of done-for-you templates. If that sounds like something you'd want, uh, what you want to do right now is go to LawyerClients.com and click this big orange ugly button and download it. It's free uh, and you want to download it before it's taken down. It'll also show you uh, how to purposely push away um, bad clients. Um, you know, and it's the really it's a cheat sheet so you can use uh, stuff that's already done for you and you'll also see how other successful attorneys are using these marketing strategies to work less hours in their office and make more money so if that sounds like something you want you want to grab this before it's taken down and just go to lawyerclients.com and click the big orange button and I will see you on the other side thanks for watching mm -hmm.